What's going on everybody? Jeff Holiday here and today we're going to have ourselves a little expose on something that I really did not see coming at all. Very commonly, I will have people be like, "Well, Jeff, you talk about all the the woo-woo and the crazy and the and the and the and the stuff that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but for some reason, people who are gullible or desperate or just trying to find something new might fall prey to, why don't you ever talk about mainstream medicine?" Well, uh, I do intend to do these things a lot of times, but often I'm trying to do consumer awareness in, in, in trying to, to divert people away from harmful things. Well, today I can do both. I can divert you away from harmful things and talk about mainstream medicine in a way that is incredibly, incredibly depressing and one of the most overt cases of woo-woo pseudoscience buying its way into the mainstream I've ever seen. Now, this comes to us from the Blue Chip City, a.k.a. Cincinnati. St. Elizabeth Healthcare will be dedicating an entire floor of its new cancer center to holistic, patient-centered care with a new partnership with doTERRA International. Officials of St. Elizabeth said the partnership with doTERRA will play a foundational role in the development of the Center for Integrative Oncology, within St. Elizabeth's new cancer center in Edgewood, which will open in the fall of 2020. Now, right off the bat, there is a very, very specific problem with this. Uh, this, is, this is a real medical group that, if I'm not mistaken, operates five different hospitals. And they're making something called the Center for Integrative Oncology. Well, if you've been around long enough, you you understand that that word integrative is very troublesome. It's a very troublesome word because integrative means alternative. That's what it means. More specifically, integrative means, well, while we're giving you real medicine, uh, we're also going to humor things that are not medicine, uh, like meditation or uh, uh, homeopathy at times. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Integrative means medicine plus bullshit. That's what it means. That is, anytime you hear anybody being like, well, I'm an integrative specialist, they are a specialist in medicine plus bullshit. That's what that means. And they're, they're, they're naming an entire center for treating cancer as... <laughs> the Center for Medicine Plus Bullshit Oncology. Huh? The doTERRA Center for Integrative Oncology will be more than 8,400 square feet on the first floor of the St. Elizabeth Cancer Center. Comprehensive medical care will include the use of doTERRA essential oils, imagine that, and aromatherapy, yoga, meditation, and a spa-like atmosphere, officials said. Aromatherapy is the use of essential oils from plants as therapy to improve physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Now, before we get into who this doTERRA thing is, we really need to understand exactly what they are trying to promote with this. Because if you just casually glance by an article like this, you might not understand how nefarious this really, really is. doTERRA made a donation of $5 million to the St. Elizabeth Foundation Cancer Center Community Campaign, which is the largest donation ever received by the foundation, officials said. So, right off the bat, okay, okay, so you, you, you have a medical center that operates uh, several different medical facilities, and they're wanting to make this cancer center, a, a new building specifically designed to treat people with cancer, and then along comes this company. This company? Uh, just like any other company, of course, right? <laughs> just wait. Uh, that, that offers $5 million donation. And then because, because of how generous they were, the, 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 the hospital decides to just join into a partnership with this company, this aromatherapy company. And then allows them to start selling their aromatherapy in the center. But it gets worse. The stated intention of this is for them to have access to cancer patients. Okay? They, like, let's, let's cut through all the shit. Let's just say this as plainly as possible. 
They paid $5 million as a donation, which is probably a tax write-off, in order to get into a partnership with a hospital that's going to be treating desperate, potentially dying people so that they can walk up and be like, hey man, I know you're going through chemotherapy, would you like to smell lavender while you do it? And that would seem totally innocuous and fine, but it's even more crazy than that. Check this out. When I went through my cancer and I was on a lot of side effect medications, I remember 20 different types of papers and I combed over every side effect and I saw just some really hair raising side effects that really scared me. But I need to find a way to naturally do this as much as possible. So when I... That, that's something that's way too easy to, to pass by that's really troubling in this video. So right here, she is a representative of doTERRA, and he is the managing director, I believe, for St. Elizabeth Healthcare. And what she just said there was, when I was going through my cancer, I saw that there was a lot of really, really sketchy side effects, and it was really troubling, so I wanted to do this as naturally as possible. Now that implies that she was seeking out alternative treatments that were outside of mainstream treatments. That is what's in her mind. That is what she's saying. But then listen to how they phrase the rest of this video. When I was presented essential oils, there was a chance that I could use them to help me with my side effects to kind of bridge that gap. So what did you think when I... So at that point, they, like, they push aside whether or not she, she foregoes like regular traditional treatment and instead, but then I discovered that essential oils, the essential oils I happen to sell, ha 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 ha, uh, could really help mitigate the horrible symptoms of regular medicine. Okay. When I first brought up essential oils. Well, you take a breath as the doc and you, you try and think, what is this patient trying to do? What is the goal here? Um, and you try and put yourself in the patient's place and say, what am I not getting for them? What am I not doing for them that they need? And it was pretty clear at that point you were trying to approach your cancer. I like how while he's talking about this, uh, and, and and honestly, when you really look, pay really close attention to this video, he looks like a man who sold his soul to the devil. And now we have these tasteful shots as if at a perfume or makeup counter. But they, we're talking about a hospital. When she heard about the new St. Elizabeth Cancer Center, she saw an opportunity for a potential partnership. No kidding, no kidding, wow. I knew that you needed to hear as much science as possible. I literally felt like I had a degree by the time <laughs> I produced all this information because I knew it was something that you needed, that this was something that could benefit patients and just help patients bridge the gap on their emotions while they're going through treatment. We've built a lot of that into our own practice even before now where people have distress tools and a social worker is involved early. We have um, a nutrition expert who can come by and talk about the appropriate way to feed yourself on chemo and you know as we talk about this new cancer center we're that is not the same my head is about to explode i've already seen this video and i'm watching it again and i'm already angry all over again while i'm trying to record this video for you ah! trying to beat cancer is a really tough thing it's very very difficult and depending on the cancer too you have varying de degrees of whether or not you're going to have success or not uh so even when somebody says that we have to overall have a plan of attack always with cancer in general that's not true cancers are wildly different uh, depending on what type of cancer you have, but also him saying that, well, we needed to have a nutritionist that was going to teach you uh, how to uh, feed yourself after going through the, that is not the same. That is not the same as somebody trying to sell you essential oils, because that's what this is. Because, spoiler alert for everybody out there, but doTERRA? doTERRA is an MLM, a multi-level marketing business, okay? In, in layman's terms, in the most easy way for people who might have been around more around like my generation or older, it's a pyramid scheme. That's what they are. It's a scam. The whole goddamn business is built on convincing other people to sell their products and then to sell their training program to other people so they will sell their products. 
and the money goes to the top. How else do you think this business that smell that sells nice smelling things had five million dollars to throw at a, at a at a at a hospital? Because it's a scam. The whole goddamn thing is a scam. All right, one one more quick little video on this whole thing before we we look a little bit at DoTerra, so I can really sell you on this idea of how how crazy this company is. But listen to this first. This this guy needs to be fired. We're really excited to announce that we're forming the doTERRA Center for Integrative Oncology. What we hope to do in this new center is to shift the discussion from taking care of sick people to take care of, take care of the whole person. Uh, we want to direct... Because b before, when we took care of sick people, we only took care of a quarter of them, or like uh, a fraction. Only the sick parts. We only care about the sick parts of you. What? Dark care to be... Um, tailored to each individual's own needs. We're in the infancy of this, uh, of the understanding of really what integrative medicine is. And so my definition is anything that augments the care of the patient, anything that treats the human being rather than the tumor. No, uh, integrative medicine is medicine plus bullshit. Medicine plus bullshit. Just get, uh, honestly, anybody who's watching this, just program this in. When you hear integrative, that means medicine plus bullshit because that's that's the fact. That's what it is. So I would include things like prayer, aromatherapy, and medical massage. <laughs> Those are important. We know about aroma touch and healing touch and mindful meditation. What we're really looking for is how do we use all of these things uh, to meet each patient. Did this dude just say prayer? <laughs> Hang on. He did not just say prayer. Hang on. Than the tumor. So I would include things like prayer, aromatherapy, and medical massage. Those are important. We know about aroma touch and healing touch and mindful meditation. What we're really looking for is how do we use all of these things uh, to meet each patient where they need us. I've been very gratified to see that individual uh, approaches for certain patients have been really powerful for them. When I approach integrative care, it's really integrating what the patient wants and needs rather than what the provider wants and needs. Applying oh, this to God. our patient care, that's one of the things I'm very excited about is that we're going to be able to offer people the opportunity to do these things, but also learn from them as we go. You see, the thing is, is uh, to treat your pancreatic cancer, uh, we're, we're going to have to put you on a, a regimen of of, of on oncological drugs, uh, some chemotherapy. Uh, I'm prescribing three prayers a day and uh, a shoulder massage and uh, maybe maybe some, some nice chamomile. Nice, nice wafting of chamomile coming up in the background. By the way, uh, would you like to hear about our sponsored company, resident right here in the center for medicine plus bullshit oncology, uh, doTERRA. <laughs> um... You know, once you get done with your cancer treatment, you could also sell for doTERRA. <laughs> God damn it. Now, doTERRA is not just spooky because it's an MLM. It's a pyramid scheme, and it's trying to, I would say, from my opinion, uh, brainwash people into believing this kind of thing, and also that they can get rich by selling these things and selling on other people to sell these things you know it, it's it's one of those crazy things like i uh, everybody can benefit from doTERRA either through the healing power of their nice smelly things or uh through working for them why does the whole world sell for doTERRA and we'll all just buy off each other and we'll all be rich right because that's how money works that's how Right, but it's not just that. Oh no, 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 no. There's also um, they've had to get warned by the FDA. So this was sent back in 2014. Warning letter from the FDA to David Sterling at DoTerra International. This is to advise you that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration reviewed websites and social media accounts used to promote your DoTerra essential oil products in August of 2014. Based on our review, FDA has determined that several of your DoTerra essential oil products, including but not limited to blah, 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 are promoted for conditions that cause them to be drugs under Section 201 of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. The whole point of this is that if you claim that your supplements can do things that are uh, that are described as the machinations of a medicine and they are not regulated by the FDA, you can get in trouble, which is exactly what they were doing. 
Uh, there's a whole long case of them. But things like <clears throat> Melaleuca, uh, clinically shown to exhibit the replication of the influenza virus. Uh, some of the primary uses include athlete's foot, canker sores, chicken pox, cold sores, colds, flu, fungal infection, herpes, simplex, etc., etc., etc. That is not something that is appropriate to be claiming, that you can use these types of things to treat those types of issues. That's illegal. That's illegal. And that's literally what the FDA is supposed to be able to do is to prevent these types of things from happening. So after this happened, doTERRA had to retool how they were selling a bunch of stuff because uh, they got caught saying a bunch of bullshit. And that's really the long and short of it, which really shouldn't surprise anybody given it's a it's an essential oil company. Anyway, if you want to read the whole letter, the link is going to be down in the description. Now, at this point, I could go into the whole pseudoscience of essential oils and that sort of thing. But honestly, right now, that's not what I want to... I don't, I don't want to touch on that, necessarily. I By now, you should understand that essential oils are bullshit. If you don't, I have a link to a very good YouTube video that you can go check out. I'll probably do a video on it here in the future. That's That's fine. But... And I also have links to how doTERRA is an MLM also linked in the description down below. It's pretty wild. Uh, their history is interesting. Maybe maybe we'll touch on it in the future too. But before we wrap this up, I would really like to demonstrate for you how wing nutty this company can actually be and the people who believe it. So what greater way to, to describe that than how they... <laughs> How they market to children using the doTERRA Kids Oil Collection. Ah, oh, Kids Oil Collection. Fancy. Introduce your child to essential oils with the doTERRA Kids Collection. Pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil, these essential oil blends are gentle enough for children of all ages. Things like Calmer Restful Blend helps your child relax and promote sleep. Using things like Lavender and Roman Roman chamomile, Buddha wood, and ylang ylang. <laughs> the thinker focus blend. We'll get into that in just a second. Oh boy. Uh, vetiver root, peppermint, and clementine. Rosemary. So research suggests that inhaling rosemary essential oil may help people recall previously learned material, making it an excellent companion for test day. Or to try and remember when you were abducted by aliens. Could work for that too. Or the Brave Courage Blend. Wild orange, amorous wood, osmanthus flower, and cinnamon bark. Cinnamon bark. Cinnamon bark. Mom, I'm too scared to go to the top. Can I have my oils? Why, yes you can, sweetheart. I tossed up the new Brave Kids Collection roller, and she immediately applied it to her wrists, hooked it to her pants, took a deep breath, and climbed to the top. Empowering your kids is easy if you provide them the right tools. doTERRA did a good on this one. Or just lying to them. I mean, <laughs> we've been lying to kids to get them to do shit for centuries. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Oh boy. There's also an article that they wrote at one point uh, with essential oils for babies. For the most part, they're pretty careful about it. There's one part of it, though, that says tea tree. Now, I, I, despite the fact that I am not a big fan of essential oils, I do understand that there are some basis for science behind it. Things like tea tree are a natural disinfectant, uh, and there are definitely some benefits that you could use with it if you had to. Is it a good replacement for otherwise established things that we use out in the world probably not um but tea tree is very harsh on the skin and, and if there's one thing i would really like to point out is like don't ever put tea tree oil on your kids let alone your baby that's really bad that's super bad like it can burn adult skin so that was really sketch like they say here, tea tree is a stronger oil that can be harsh on the skin, so it should be avoided on babies younger than six months old and carefully patch tested on older infants. No, don't put it on an infant. Don't even put it on a kid, okay? Don't do it. Stop. That's a, that's a bad idea. Anyway, last but not least, I want to show you this. This is pretty great. Uh, they do sell supplements still. Not nearly as many as they did before they got in trouble with the FDA. But children's supplements, specifically... 
doTERRA A2Z chewable, seems like a basic multivitamin, but IQ Mega. IQ Mega. What in the hell is IQ Mega? Well, as it turns out, if you look at it, it's just fish oil and omega-3s. But how insulting is it that that somebody is going to try and convince you to sell brain supplement for your kid like hey mom and dad little timmy just kind of a dumbass well for only 46 dollars, you can buy a bottle of iq mega and solve that right away i personally find that very insulting just the very concept of it is just really gross am i alone in this am i am i taking crazy pills now look, I know I sound like a big hater about anything alternative and whatever, but I'm not. I understand. I understand that there are plenty of things that you can do to, to, to mitigate uh, your symptoms if you go through something like chemotherapy or any kind of medical issue and you find things like meditation to help you or even essential oils to help you. Great. Awesome. Good. There's nothing wrong with that. That's that's good as long as you understand what there is real legitimate proof behind whether it works or not. So you're not like replacing life-saving things with that. Do whatever you want. Especially if you're an adult, you have every right to spend your money how you want to, to put your faith or your belief in anything that you want to as long as you are appropriately informed. I think that's okay. The problem is doTERRA is not just some humble oil merchant, okay? doTERRA is a pyramid scheme. doTERRA has a long history of doing really shady shit where they have to get warned by the FDA, where they come from another uh, multi, multi-level multi marketing business. And now, because of a $5 million donation, they get an entire floor of a legitimate Cancer building, cancer ward, a whole floor. That's really scary, really scary. And there is nothing wrong with pointing that out because this is this is probably one of the most brazen examples I've ever seen of woo-woo bullshit pseudoscience buying its way to the mainstream. It's scary. It's really scary. And I, I, I am alarmed by it, as you could probably tell. Anyway, uh, in the future, I'm sure we'll we'll probably get around to uh, to digging into some essential oil stuff, uh, maybe even to some MLM stuff. I've gotten lots of requests from you guys to look into MLMs, uh, do some scam busting on that sort of thing. It, it really it just depends on my workload, and right now my workload is huge, 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 huge. And otherwise, uh, I hope you are well. I hope your family is well. From mine to yours, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. Jeff Holiday. All right.